Hi Cancer, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Cancer, we're going to see what's going on around you at this time. Maybe love, maybe general. We're going to take it as it comes. So welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. So please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. Could be past, present, future. Um, if it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit could be someone going through something around you, maybe affecting you in some way also. So please do keep that in mind. I'd like to apologize also for the um, current readings being late. I was just sick this past week with the flu and it really knocked me out for the whole week. So now I'm behind on my readings and my personal readings. So um, I still have a little bit of a cough left. So please bear with me and I apologize in advance if I do need to cough during this. Um, Nothing I could do about it, so. All right, Cancer. Welcome, welcome, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle, sign, element, or planet. See how that affects you. Okay, this just flew out at me. So we have Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. If not, that's totally fine, or maybe you have it in your chart, or the person has it in their chart in some way. And I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links to your playlist, general and love, are in the description box below, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for a personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below, and I will pin some of that info to the top comment. All right, so let's get an opening message for you, Cancer. Opening message for you, Cancer Spirit, please. Can we have an opening message for Cancer, please? I'm feeling that one. And we have Lizard Daydreaming. I'm getting a lot of repeating cards for all these readings I'm doing here. And we have 21, which is three. Three is about people coming together, working together, uh, collaborating together, or just... Um, celebrating having a good time but we do have daydreaming so daydreaming about something maybe you need to daydream those dreams into reality all right so what are we daydreaming about so let's get an opening energy which just went flying on the floor let's see what we have here so we have balance magpie which is 27 which is nine and nine is almost coming to the um, end of a cycle because you get nine, ten's the ending, one's a new beginning. So either you're feeling balanced or you need to find balance or you need to balance things out in your life. Maybe dream, daydreaming about how to bring balance into your life. All right, so, and we have a record keeper, 32, on the bottom of the deck here, which is another repeating card. 32 is five, which is about change. So something changing here to bring balance into your life. And the record keep it here. Um, I'm going to read a little bit about that. Let's see. Number 32. Let's see. The vaults of creation are being opened to you, offering access to the sacred knowledge stored within. Whale is journeying, journeying with you, guiding you back to the deep core rhythms of nature and your instinctual connection to the cycles of life. She is helping you remember your personal truth and wisdom and how to reconnect to the heartbeat of the universal mother. Whale wants you to rebirth your emotional body and to revive yourself physically by tapping into the knowledge of your own genetic memory and personal rhythm. In doing so, you will remember the sacred bond you share with all things and you will ultimately find the knowledge to heal yourself and your family. You may even glean insight into how the rest of the of humanity could follow suit. I'm just going to read a little bit here about daydreaming. Because uh, there could be a message in there. Let's see. Daydreaming. Let's see. Uh... What you visualize in your daydream spirit offers the map to find and all that is left to do is follow the directions and with intent and resolve. 
You are being advised to take serious note of what your dreams are trying to tell you. Keep a journal. Lizard wants you to look at your daydreams as viable message as viable messages from spirit and veritable roadmaps to possibilities that would normally remain faceless for eternity. Spirit gifted you with this life as a chance to make your mark on the world. Don't waste a single chance by choosing to ignore the unrealized but fertile potentials your dreams may be gathering and shaping for your future. Hmm. Shaping your future. So this is about trusting your intuition, your inner wisdom. And, uh, you know, paying attention to your dreams, even your daydreams, maybe messages in there. But I feel like some sort of change that you're wanting or you're dreaming about could bring balance into your life if you trust your intuition and your inner wisdom. All right, let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. I'm going to clarify this energy, and then we'll look at the actual situation, and then advice, possible outcome, and we'll get closing message messages with that deck there. So let's see, Cancer, what's going on with Cancer? The tower. Oh, big shake up here. Epiphany, breakthrough. It doesn't have to be bad. It could be a surprise. It could be epiphany, an aha moment. Or it can be a disruption, a change. <coughs> see, what else do we have here? The Nine of Wands. Ooh, the Wounded Warrior. Okay, so some sort of tower moment came in here that did make you feel like a Wounded Warrior. So let's see what's going on. Why is this energy here? Six of Shields, but balance. And then we have balance, so it's double confirmation of that. So whatever the tower moment brought in that really shook you up was necessary to bring you your balance. Okay, so what are we talking about here? The mother. So, I mean, you could be a mother. This could have to do with your mother. But the Empress knows her value and her worth. It's also the birth of something new, but it doesn't have to be. You know, it's growth expansion. So let's see what else is going on here. The lovers. Let's get one more. In the four swords, rest, rejuvenation. Hmm. You could be a mother. I'm just trying to piece this together. I, I feel like you're balanced now. Some sort of to tower moment came in here. I mean, the lovers doesn't necessarily have to be about a lover. That could be about making a choice. That's more in line with you, self-love. Really thinking about that with the Four of Swords energy here. There could have been a disruptive moment, tower moment realization. Something that you had to, I feel like, make a decision about or something that you just had to get through. It was a very tough cycle. I feel if it was an ending or just a disruption or a change or something here. But in the long run, you came out more balanced. I mean, you could have had to do something with you being a mother or your mother or something like that. But choosing here to be aligned with the energy, more aligned with you. There was healing in the situation with the Four of Swords. And there was a need to rest, rejuvenate, because you went through it here with the Nine of Wands, feeling like that beat up soldiers so of course you had to rest and rejuvenate here regain your strength but let's see what the actual situation is here now we have the king of shields so there's that taurus energy this could now be a father figure maybe something happened with your parents for some of you because the mother can, you know, be the mother and the kings can be like a father figure, especially the king of pentacles. 
Ten of Shields. Yeah, so this is a marriage dynamic. So something could have happened either with you and your person or your parents. But we have the Knight of Cups right in the middle here. So people are move along, moving along now in a more loving, caring, nurturing, giving space. Peace, harmony. Let's see. Magician, so manifesting. New beginning here. And now we have the Knight of Shields. So we got two knights here. I'm almost feeling like a family, like parents and like children. I, I don't know. But like grown children. <coughs> so I don't know what happened here in a family dynamic. But I feel like now some decision was made, in here, made here for a new beginning. So you do see the same father here as over here. See a child here. See a child here. Children. The mother's here. Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe somebody was sick for a time here. Because the four of swords can be about illness and sickness. And this person here looks like they've been through it. So maybe somebody was very sick. For a while here but now you know maybe there's been healing and things are much better now you know people are now moving along in life in a better place you know manifesting and I don't know it's kind of an odd message here if it's not that then um, uh, Got a lot of mother energy and father energy here. So I definitely feel like there was some kind of disruption in the flow of like the family dynamic. So either somebody was very sick, didn't know if they were going to make it, or something just happened. I'm not getting like it wasn't an affair or anything like that. Um, I mean, it could have been, but I don't know. Something just happened, and I think it was kind of serious here so if it was an illness I don't know maybe somebody lost their job maybe um, lost money maybe there was an accident or something like that maybe somebody was also uh, I don't know it's a weird message was it in a coma or something for a while here she got that daydreaming energy of when you're kind of like out of it so maybe somebody you know maybe there was an energy here of thinking you know maybe somebody wasn't going to pull through and then they like magically with the magician here pulled through. Okay, so let's get advice now. King of Wands. This is fiery, passionate energy. King of Swords. Wow, what's going on here? Now there's two kings. The High Priestess. Get one more. This is advice for the situation. In the Two of Wands. So, well, we got three kings here. We have King of Pentacles, which would be the father figure. I mean, these could be children, the two kings here. So we do have two knights also. Unless this was a third party situation. But it'd be more than third party with three, three kings here. So actually, we almost have the emperor. Because the emperor, just like the empress, embodies all the kings of the deck. The Empress embodies all the queens of the deck. So we have three kings. So we almost have the Emperor energy. If we get one more king, then I know it's the same person coming out as the Emperor or the father figure or somebody who's in charge or something like that. So I feel like this is the same person here. Or it could be the children. But, um, you know, the High Priestess keeps to themselves. Doesn't reveal everything. It's kind of quiet. And this is about making plans and decisions for the future. So whatever plans, decisions for the future there is in this family situation, it's saying to keep them to yourselves. But, you know, the king and the two kings here is about having clarity and being very passionate go-getter kind of energy. 
It's like whatever shook this up this family, it's like now everybody knows exactly where their place is in life. They know what they need to do. They need to they know what direction to go in. They know what their life's purpose is now. It like it woke everybody up, I feel. So now every you know, everyone knows, okay, I need to live out my passion. I need to live out my truth. But I'm gonna keep these secrets to myself, not telling everyone about now plans plans and uh, decisions for the future. I hope this is making sense for somebody. It's an odd message. I never really got a message like this before, but you know it is what it is. So let's see what the outcome is here. So strength. So I feel very strong family bond here, I feel. I think this whole situation made the family much stronger. It's like strengthening bonds between everybody. Six, yeah, six of one, success, victory, accomplishment. Let's get one more. Page of shields here. So very stable communication. Now I feel between everybody, um, whatever happened here, it's like now everybody is much more stable and grounded. They communicate much better. Um, Steady communication, grounded communication um, kind of energy. Very successful moving forward. Very strong bond. I feel like bonds have been strengthened by whatever this was here. Wow, well, kind of an odd, odd message, but um, it is what it is. So everyone seems to be much more balanced now you know, record keeper. Maybe somebody had to keep records of this whole situation also for some reason. Could be daydreaming like, was this really real? Did this really happen? Yes. <laughs> so on the bottom here, we have the father. Okay, here's the emperor. Yep, and I had said that. So we have the empress and the emperor. And then we have all these kings and pages and knights. So this is like, like three generations here. Wow. <laughs> yep, so here's the father. So here's that energy of... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The Seven of Swords. Someone's sneaking away from a situation for some reason. Holding back from a situation. But he has a prosperous new beginning. So I feel like this situation is like a whole new beginning for this family being much more structured stable and grounded some people might have got scared and ran from you know whatever happened here held back from the situation if that makes sense but now it's like a whole new beginning for everybody yeah balance so balance again with the temperance angel here healing patience balance kind of energy Yep, stronger family dynamic here in the home. This is about the home, the foundation, the basis, the structure, ceremony, celebrations, commitment. So very committed family here now, based on truth and clarity, divine guidance here. Now people, you know, ready to follow their life's purpose, life's mission, because of whatever happened here, I think really woke everybody up. Whatever this, however this makes sense, divine energy here really shedding light on the situation. Strong family dynamic here with the four of wands. Patience, balance, healing energy. It's like a whole new brand new beginning for everybody. It's very stable, grounded, growth, abundance. People may have ran for some reason from this and held back. But we do have the father energy here. So we do have a mother and a father energy. Okay, I hope this is making sense for some, but this is what I see. So we have, we have Aquarius. We have Sagittarius, we have Aries, Aries or Scorpio again here, um, the Empress here I believe is Libra or Taurus, yep, Gemini, what is this here, that's four swords, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sag, Aries, um, 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo. So, wow. So yeah, I feel a much stronger connection between a family. Whatever shakeup this was or disruption that came in here, whether it was somebody got very, very sick or there was an accident or there was something happened here that really brought a family together, really strengthened bonds. And now everybody knows exactly what they need to do in life and they're like following that path and manifesting those new beginnings. Wow. Okay. However that makes sense for you, if it does, leave me some comments. I'm curious what the heck is going on here. This may only be for a couple of people, so that maybe really need to hear this. So I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you, thank you. And we just reached 10,000 subscribers a little over a week ago, so I am planning to do a uh, tarot deck giveaway along with a private reading with that deck and then you'll receive that deck um, not sure when i'm going to get around to doing that as i'm really behind now from being sick so probably by the end of the month i'll make some sort of post or something about that or a video and i do ask cancer if you're new you can check out my channel you like what you see please feel free to like share subscribe comment love to read the comments don't forget to hit the bell and you won't miss out. You'll get about five readings a month. So let's get some messages for you. Cancer. Sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So some of you may, this family may have actually created like a place of prayer or, um, or a sacred space or an altar. Or maybe now you practice like a family ritual where you get together, you pray, you give thanks kind of energy now. All right, so let's get a few more. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So I feel like whatever happened here, it was a miracle that this either was resolved or somebody pulled through or whatever here. Whatever happened here, it was like a miracle that things worked out, however this uh, resonates for you. Could I have to do something around a baby also? So you do see a baby there. And we have focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. Oh. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Hmm. Some reason this may also cause golden opportunities to open up for people for some reason, however that means. And then we have bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risk and be daring. So a lot of different messages there, Cancer. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.